Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today we are going to have a look at uh, SketchUp, uh, which is a 3D modeling program. Uh, it's also one of the, the famous 3D modeling program, which preferred by the architectures and also some uh, 3D modelers. Uh, now I would like to open this. Yes, I click double and now it interrupt me with another dialog box and where you're gonna choose the template you know uh, after a while you will need to work with the specific numbers while you measure your tool objects um, so you're gonna use a, a measurement unit like inches feet meters or something and millimeters if you're gonna work with more details uh, but I probably you guys gonna use mostly the meters or if you're more uh, familiar with feet and inches, you can also prefer this one. I'm more familiar with meters, that's why I'm going to prefer this one. And after you choose this, you click on the start using SketchUp, and then you're gonna face with the, uh, you know, the workstation. After that, you're gonna see uh, this screen where you're gonna work, and you're gonna, you know, do your old projects here in this station. This place like uh, the surface of the you know our world um, now you're gonna see this lady which who stays uh, to the intersection of the all axis but we won't need her I would like to talk to you about the tools that we're gonna use while we work in 3d modeling and there are some tools are available here I'm going to explain you a little bit these basics and after that there is a one project I would like to explain you how to make that one. I think you're you will be excited to do that project after learning basics of the SketchUp. So I call this project Stick Ferrari. So I love it. Look at that one. Let's go back to our previous project. Actually, we don't have any project here, but is a document project and here I show you some basics in, uh, in SketchUp uh, students first we will get the pen today we will learn mostly uh, how to use that lines eraser and uh, shapes and finally I will teach you push and pull tools how to turn the 2d objects into 3d so how to turn the objects into solids okay so when you when you grab the pen and when you when you hover your mouse over the intersection of this axis you're gonna see the uh, yellow light yellow point there yellow point you know tells us this is the origin of all um, axes so there are three axes you're gonna find green blue and red so when you draw any object your drawing will be parallel to of these lines if your object is parallel to all these axes then we can say your object is 3d um, now I'm going to draw a line in in a green axis so I look at this one so if you want to make a perfect drawing which is parallel to green axis you better use these lines as a reference that's why they put these lines that you can draw perfectly and you can also draw another line from here to this side doesn't matter you draw this over this line you can also draw this far away from these lines as well so they will appear as well again so look at this now my line is on different uh, you know dimensions but when you find the red, so it will be parallel to that red axis. And if you wanna, if you wanna stop drawing, you know that that lines has a continuously drawing action. So you can stop this with escape. And now I would like to draw another one vertically. If you wanna draw a vertical line, you have to, uh, you know, draw something parallel to blue one. If you want, you can also draw uh, another line in 
in different place. You can also draw some different shapes using this part on the top. As you see, there is an arrow shows button, and you click on this, and it pops up the menu. And in the menu, you're gonna find rectangle, circle, polygon, and rotated rectangles. And and there there are some letters which are the initial of the tool name, and you can press these keys on a keyboard, and then you can reach them quickly. And you can use them as a shortcut, and then you will find them also in other tools. You see, so and you will find most of them in the tools. So as you see, they are over there. Let's say if you want to make a selection, you can place press the space and eraser. You don't have to go directly there to to choose the eraser. So you can you can just press E and it will turn to eraser. And let's see other tools and move, rotate, scale, and push and pull. These are the things that we're gonna use mostly. Example: When I press move, and I will hold this, and I can move this anywhere I want. And let's say I press a rotate, uh, and and for rotation, for rotation I'm gonna uh, press Q. As you see, the Q is you know will turn this turn your tool to rotation tool. And let's see the that P is used for push and pull. Okay, let's let's pick it up. Let's pick the shapes from actually you know we already know how to use the shortcuts. Let's press the P and to enable to So we now have to use the we now have to use these shortcuts. So I wanna go to shapes using uh this shortcut R. I press R okay I press R and here it is available. Now I will draw some couple of the uh, rectangles. I first click on the surface and clicking once will start actuation the tool. As you see now this is the resizing mode. So you haven't you know drew yet the the rectangle. As you see there is a dimensions the you know it's it's being changed while you move your mouse around. Y you can also use specific numbers for the the length and for the width of your uh, rectangle. Let's write there. I want to make this 0 0.3. So 30 centimeter to 0 0.4, 30 to 40 centimeter. That's what I did. This is a rectangle. Okay. So I I can use a push and pull tool and turn this 2D model into 3D, like solid model. Okay, look at this. This is the 3D. By the way, you can look from this side. There are three dimensions. One, two, three. And when, while you use push and pull tool, and it will show us the selections. And through the selections, when you click once over the selections, you can extend the areas. So when you click on this part, you're gonna increase its height. So, by the way, I think I forgot to tell you how to change this dimension from this side to that side that I'm, or from up to down that I'm using current now in that, in that moment. You have to hold down the wheel while you change your dimension so it's really helpful you can also do this one with with that so you can press left but I found the wheel very helpful while you use other tools you can also use that one so you can see that one it's it's being activated while you hold down the wheel you see okay let me draw also one circle and and I'll draw another circle and another make this look like a Pac-Man everyone knows what is Pac-Man so look at this does it look like Pac-Man now actually no Pac-Man needs a mouth 
so I need to remove this part okay so I will get the eraser so you guys know how to use the shortcuts what was the shortcut of the eraser that should be E and when I press E it will activate this and then let me show you again look at this when I erase this side so you're gonna open this selected area so you open this area and so this part protects the rest of the place okay so let's do this before drawing these lines when you erase that it, it clears all oh wait I draw again a couple of the lines here so when I pr delete this part it will only del remove this part so you're gonna extract only one slice from whole pizza okay Pac-Man is on the way of his food and I I think you are also going to be on the way of learning SketchUp with the next tutorial thank you guys see you later